Hi, this is Warren from FrontendAudio.com, and today we're talking about the Universal Audio 1176. Currently, there are two versions of it on the market from Universal Audio. There's the LN Low Noise and the AE Anniversary Edition. This happens to be an Anniversary Edition unit, but I'll talk about both of them today. We've got input gain before the compression circuit and output makeup gain. We've got an attack time, seriously fast stuff, 20 microseconds in the clockwise position to 800 microseconds in the counterclockwise position. Now on the 1176LN, there's actually an off position here, counterclockwise. On the AE version, there's actually a slow attack time of 10 milliseconds. Our release time clockwise is 50 milliseconds, all the way out counterclockwise to 1.1 full seconds. So we've got a lot more control over our release time. Ratios, they're different on both units. On the 1176LN, we've got 4, 8, 12, and 20 to 1 compression limiting available. On the AE version, they've mellowed out those ratios where we've got 2, 4, 8, and then 20. Now, there's also a trick that was discovered decades ago by engineers who would take the 1176 and it's called all buttons in, where we're able to just push all buttons in at the same time and use all of those ratios at once for a very wild and aggressive sound. Um, however, one difference between the two units on the AE, you would actually achieve the classic sound by using the top three. Adding the two to one ratio at the bottom, all buttons in on an AE, is actually going to mellow the sound out some. So the more aggressive sound of the LN is all buttons, the AE is the top three. Our metering is selectable from gain reduction to plus eight or plus four, and the power for the unit is available on the face of the unit as well. Turning the 1176 around, we see that Universal Audio uses standard XLR balance connectors. There's also a barrier strip available. Even if you're using XLR for your audio, the barrier strip can be used with a special device from UA to connect two 1176s in stereo. One thing to note is that the units will then share um, resistance values for attack and release times and they're effectively halved. So the 20 microsecond fastest attack time turns into a 40 microsecond fastest attack time. So there's an effect there as well. The unit is also switchable to 230 volt. There's a fuse swap that's required. There's more information on that in the manual. The 1176 is the sound of rock and roll. It really is a very versatile compressor limiter. It's very fast drums, bass guitar, vocals. We can just grab that st stuff and just hold it steady, but it still has a good presence to it, sort of an electric, excited kind of sound. All buttons in on a drum room mic is just absolute insanity, just hearing that room just blasting to the surface and all this crazy ratio stuff going on as well. Fast attack and speeding the release up, hitting higher ratios on things like vocals, bass, and electric guitar. Not only can we really hold things steady, but we get to hear an excited, distorted sound coming out of that shaped envelope that we've created as well. I find the 1176 AE to be a more mellow, obviously, version uh, with some more features versus the LN, the LN having a little bit more of the classic stomping style. For more information on the 1176 and for all your pro audio needs, check us out online at frontendaudio.com. Thanks.